Yeah, Melissa, the Ford government's latest investment in the fight against COVID-19 is drawing criticism. Bracelets that beep or vibrate when users are not six feet apart. The government says they can be used in workplaces or schools, but critics are calling it a waste of money that could be spent elsewhere. Workers simply wear the device and the wearable technology will communicate with others within a workplace environment. The technology is being called a critical layer of defense against the virus. The bracelets will beep or vibrate if users are less than six feet apart and will also alert users if they've been in contact with anyone who has tested positive for COVID-19. If that sounds familiar, it's because it is. You know, there already is the COVID app. Performing the same task as the existing COVID alert app, using Bluetooth technology to alert users when they've been in close contact with someone who has tested positive. The app has been downloaded more than 6 million times by Canadians across the country. But the Ford government is investing $2.5 million to develop this wearable contact tracing technology, which also works on Bluetooth. The difference, they say, is that it is designed to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 for workplaces and settings where smartphone use is limited or prohibited. They list airlines, construction sites, long-term care homes and schools as examples. I would say it's a definite miss of the mark. I mean, there's just no way with our class sizes now the students can distance that way. The education sector is speaking out today about what this would look like in schools. So imagine myself walking into the school and hearing beeping coming from every direction because uh, our class sizes are, are not small enough that students can actually distance six feet in, in any sort of consistent way. Those bracelets could serve as a useful data point just to show, you know, Four and a half out of five hours, uh, my, my, my kids aren't able to be six feet away from other kids at school. It is money they say could be spent on smaller class sizes, hiring education workers to support students in classrooms, or upgrading ventilation in schools. For us, $2.1 million would, would basically uh, get an air purifier in, in every single one of our classrooms. It's a proven intervention um, that helps to protect against COVID-19, so we should have that in every class. But the government insists this is just another tool, not the only tool. It will add another layer of safety and protection. And some businesses like Air Canada and Weiwei Si Capo First Nation are already using the technology. So I do think the money could have been better spent elsewhere. I don't see it as introducing technology that's going to be transformative. Um, most people know about the six feet. Uh, there's ways of gently reminding people if they breach that. As for any privacy concerns in workplaces, the government says the data is automatically deleted after 21 days and no personal information or user location is required for the technology. They also say the company is expected to manufacture 150,000 of these devices and it will create 68 jobs in the province.